Hey everybody, this is Randy. You know what? There's two things. Two things that kind of intimidates me. That's one, working with electricity. Two, working with propane. And I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to work with both today. We're going to take out the old refrigerator and we're going to put in a new one. You want to come along? Well, first things first, we're going to turn off the propane line. That way we will have no more propane in the house. So, close. That's shutting off the propane to the refrigerator, of course. It's good and tight. I'm going to check it again. Okay. Now, we're going to walk around to the other side, and we're going to go to work. Doesn't this look like fun? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug it from shore power. Pull this cord out of my way. And we're going to locate, which I already have, here is your 12 volt power. You're going to have to unhook this. Let me show you. See, it says 12 volt right on it. So you know that's the one coming from the batteries for the igniter, so on and so forth. So we're going to take that off, and then we're going to take this off. I'm going to put a, this camera somewhere. Hang on. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook these. And I'm going to cut them off. Because it'll just make it a little bit easier. I'm going to cut the two whites first. Well, that didn't work out for me, did it? <laughs> okay. Not wanting to go anywhere, is it? I'll get a different cutter. Okay, got a different cutter, let's cut them off. There's one. I'm gonna take all the power away from this thing. Well, I guess I need a different cutter here too. There's two. Now, I don't know what happened to my cutters. Oh well, no badge. I didn't lose them, I just misplaced them. Now we'll take these off. And we'll lose all the power coming to this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap them off. So that makes sense to me to keep all the power away. We're gonna install some wire caps some wire nuts. If you can see this, we turn this camera around. Okay. Anyway, we're going to put wire nuts on this. And then we'll tape them. And that way they will not have any chance of shorting themselves out. Because that would suck. Just like my phone falling sucks. Hey, I have no production assistant right now. Okay, they're all capped off. And I'm going to put some tape on them. Hold them into place. Keep all the liquid condensation, whatever, out of it. I do not want to have any shortages whatsoever. See, there's one. No, I'm not using blue tape today like I did the other day. I'm using white. I'll tell you what, equal opportunity tape. It's whatever I can grab at the time. 
Okay, I'm going to turn you guys off. You know what I'm doing here. See? Just putting tape on them. All right. Okay, the electrical wires have wire caps on them. They're all secure, safe, and I'm going to tuck them out of the way. It's going to keep the water out of them. And then we are going to start working on that nut right there. We got to take that nut off. And that that is the gas line. So, let's remove it. Well, hopefully there's not, not going to be too much of a problem getting this off. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And we're going to let that dissipate just a little bit. Matter of fact, it's going to clear out the line. Alright, propane done. Pull it out of the way for a minute. I'm going to get a cap and I'm going to have to cap this off. And I will do that at a later time. The hardware store isn't open right now. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, I have located a couple screws. There's one down here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Here, let me clean this camera off a second. little better there okay we got one screw there and we got one screw over here right behind this line here we're gonna remove them screws and then we'll go inside and we'll locate the ones inside there should only be uh, four to six screws holding this thing in not too many there's one Do. You know, you should be intimidated when working with gas and electric, right? I'm not just being a little scaredy cat, am I? Good size screw. Okay, we're going to go inside and we're going to locate the other ones. Well, it's going to be a little tougher than I thought. I took the freezer door off. Now, here's a screw. That was behind the freezer door that I need to get at. And there's the one on the other side. That holds the top part of this freezer in, or the refrigerator. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and take every darn screw I can see out of here off. I think I'm going to have to end up taking this plate off. Underneath here, I don't know if you can see this silicone. I'm going to have to take and rip that silicone off because that will make it so much easier to get out. So either rip it out or cut it out, I'm not sure. But I think I'll have to cut. Let me go get a knife. Okay, now to take this, cut this right here. I gotta get that off there because that silicone will hinder taking this refrigerator off. Okay, that's all loose there. Let me go up underneath here and do it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you all know what I'm doing. Now, well, I'll tell you, they really got this in here good. Okay, looks like she's all cut. I got every screw I could find out of there took screws out of here up top I got screw out of here and one over here and this one over here now once I can get this off I believe there's more screws in the front but this thing right here has to come out of there so 
me work on that. I'm going to come back to you. Okay, well, that was a little easier than I thought. I just had to take both doors out. I had to pop a cap here, over here, down here, and one right here. And I took out four screws. The hardest part was getting the uh, getting the doors off. And then, now, you can see, it's freewheeling. So, all I got to do is do a little prying. Let me set you down here. Some, some prying on this, because that glue is still held. And then once I get it out a little bit, I'll be able to uh, pull it. It'll walk it out, maybe, hopefully. Uh, easier said than done, my friends. This caulky that they have on there is solid. I don't want to pry too much there because knowing my luck, I'll get that window or the mirror. Okay. I'm going to start walking it out here pretty quick. I get a hold of it. Put my fingers in there. Look at that. Removal of the refrigerator. Heck, I was going to have to take them doors off anyway. We're going to let that sit just for a minute, just like that. You guys can see part way out of there. Now, I might need a little assistance here. I gotta see how much farther I gotta go, so I'm gonna walk outside and uh, see how much farther I gotta go. And if I need help, I'll have to incorporate some help from one of my fellow campers. All right, we'll come back to you. Well, there's the finished product. Not all the way finished, but at least it's in there. Hey, buddy. I will frame it out, and then when I do the final reveal of what I've done to the camper, then you'll see what happens with uh, where I end up putting it, what I end up finishing on it. But it works. It's there. Woohoo. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Good to see you guys. Say ace, say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye now.